let's talk about material selection, PLA versus ABS, uh, which are the, the two materials I've used so far to make this ukulele. Now, PLA is going to, it seems like a denser, heavier material than the ABS, um, but ABS is much harder to print with. So, honestly, I think ABS sounds better, but it's much, much more difficult to print in ABS. So here's an example of some of my first prints, um, and this is actually a failed print of a full body. I've gone through a whole lot of ABS trying to print these things um, and design uh, in the design process I was using ABS. But you can see here, this is um, where I've gotten cracks and then your your pieces end up kind of warping a bit. Um, so it's it can be very difficult, basically because of this these cracks that end up occurring. So if your printer is fully enclosed and you've got a heater, um, you should be able to print it in ABS. I actually had to wrap my printer in bubble wrap in order to be able to print in ABS. Once I wrapped it in bubble wrap and then I turned my heat bed up as high as it would go, um, the heat inside was enough that I was able to print one piece um, ukulele bodies and necks. Um, actually, the necks were no problem, even without the bubble wrap. So the necks and ABS are no issue. It's the body that ends up being troublesome, but I've optimized the files so it is possible. If you've got fully enclosed uh, printer and you're able to turn that heated bed up, you should be able to do it. I've been able to do it. Um, but PLA, if, you, if this is your first time doing a large print, I highly recommend you go ahead and just use PLA. Um, PLA, uh, for me, it's very rare that I get any issues. Um, you know, it's not going to warp. It won't... Uh, and it won't crack the way the ABS does. And if you're doing the two-piece versus the one-piece, um, I highly recommend you use PLA also because ABS, um, it likes to kind of warp a little bit off of the print bed, and you'll end up with, it won't be perfectly, perfectly flat. And so when you go to put your neck or your body together, if you make it out of ABS and you had a little bit of curling on the edges here, it won't match up perfect. But usually that PLA, um, sticks to the heated bed um, or even a non-heated bed very very well uh, so it's not an issue so again if your printer is not fully enclosed I don't recommend printing ABS and if you're doing the two-piece files I don't recommend printing ABS PLA is much much easier um, to, to make these ukuleles out of okay just wanted to go over a couple um, tips. If you're printing this in PLA, um, which in the material selection is what I recommended, you really want to make sure you have some way of cooling your part while it's printing. Uh, before I added this squirrel fan uh, with the nozzle here uh, on my printer, I was just using a regular house fan and that was just fine. So just make sure you, you do that because um, you're going to want to, obviously with this big part, you're going to want to print it pretty fast, so you need to have some cooling. Um, and then one other thing, because this is a big print, um, it's really important that your spool is not tangled, because um, that'll, I think, I use some cheap materials sometimes, um, especially with these, because they're such big prints, and some of them will be tangled, so you just want to make sure you do everything you can to not tangle your spools. If you tangle your spool, it'll end up getting caught, um, and then the tension will make it such that you stop extruding plastic and you'll come back and your printer's just moving um, without any material. So those are the two things I think that have led to most failed prints for me. Um, so as long as you add cooling to your part and make sure your spools aren't tangled, um, those are the two things that have increased my reliability the most.